hello, hello. It is time for a new maze event in Dragon City, and this time we have an event that can give us more duo fossils. We can get things like piles of autumn leaves, and we can get our hands on some insignias. So this event, the full maze event, is quite similar to the previous 11 day long maze event that we had. So you've got 11 days to stack up your currency, but during this event you have a keys path. We have a random legendary path in the form of alloy. Then we have set paths such as this path here that has the monstrous dragon in it, which gives you food. So this is the food path if you're like super desperate for food for any reason. We have the camouflage dragon path, which is the puzzle path. So you can get puzzle moves for the upcoming puzzle event. Then we have your bad boy Brave, who is going to be the runner event dragon. So you can see him on the light blue path. And then we just have some legendary dragons alongside the regular keys path that we have in these maze events. And so I do have the full costs for this maze event, just in case you are interested. All of these costs can be found in the description of the video, and they can also be found inside the DC event guide section of my Discord server. So it will show you the total amount of currency that you can earn roughly free to play and the total costs for all of the different paths. But that is only the default path costs. So if you are in a special player group that has like player group A, B, C, D with different costs, these costs are gonna be slightly different to that. But the default event costs, and if you have the 600 currency per reset that you can normally earn, they will all be there. And all of these will match the values that are on the DITLEP website as well. Uh, so if you wanna have another resource that you can go to that has all of those listed. Ditlet will also show you for each of the paths as well. But since we have had this maze event a few times, it's going to be quite similar if you've played the previous one. And with all of those type of costs, so just to go through it again, we have the dragon path or whatever your dragon might be, which is the keys path. And in this, the keys path has the most event items and the most duo fossils in it, but it's also like 25,000 currency just under. So it's quite an expensive path. The skull face path is going to have five of the duo fossils, but only one event item. So it's not too great for event items. The random paths typically have one event item in them. So that's like for Monstrous, Camouflaged, and Brave. They typically have one event item in them. And then for the Wish Path, we have four duo fossils and two event items. And then for Evanescent Fey, we have four duo fossils and one event item as well. But the thing is that I will mention with these two legendary paths, so, you know, with the two legendaries that are going to unlock towards the end, so we've got Furious in mind, for instance, there are some event item autumn leaves, the pile of leaves, quite early on in these paths, and the total cost for the path, or to get these leaves in, say, the Evanescent path, is 535. In the other legendary path, you can get some leaves at 500. So what you could do if you want to, say you go through the entire keys path, so that would be dragon, you get through most of this or you finish it off completely, unlock the dragon. If you want to go for some more event items, then you'd go on the legendary path to unlock right at the end of the event, and then you'd just get some additional leaves, maybe pick up a couple of duo fossils on your way through. But you'll see there's a pile of leaves at 500 total, but then the next one's not until 5,400. So realistically, you'd go on these legendary dragon paths, pick up the first lot of event items, and then you're probably not going to pick up any uh, anything else from those paths if you go down the keys path as well. But if you're going to be looking to potentially go through the whole of like the food path and you want to go down like the runner event path and the puzzle event path you can afford to do that so that's with the monstrous camouflage and brave paths you can easily afford that the question is whether you want to go fully through or through most of the keys path first and then just pick a couple of the other two paths you should if you get lucky with ads be able to afford that but it is your choice at the end of the day as to which of these three additional paths you value more. Because like, if you're someone that's running really low on food right now and you want to finish off the heroic quest, I can see a lot of people going through the monstrous path and just picking up as much food as they can from the mystery boxes. And also, there is a guaranteed XL banquet box towards the end of the path, which is 5 million food for me. Might be slightly different for you depending on your player level. 
that that's a guaranteed 5 million food. So if that 5 million food gets you a heroic quest victory, you're probably going to go down this path if you can guarantee it. So bear all of that in mind. What you want to go for is up to you. But if you are going to go for specifically event items and duo fossils, the best path is going to be the keys path followed by additional items from the other paths as it usually is. The keys path also has insignias, so you can pick up insignias as well as autumn leaves and duo fossils on your way through the main path, but you might not be able to afford the whole main path if you want to go down all of the additional event paths. So bear that in mind, like I mentioned, we will have a puzzle path and a runner path, and that is because we have a puzzle event that is actually beginning quite shortly in a day's time. So you'll definitely want to be getting in on that puzzle event stuff. So make sure if you want to get the puzzle event currency, you save up all of your currency to finish off the camouflage path, which camouflage himself is quite cheap. So you probably don't have to worry about that too much. And then the runner event, of course, also has maze event currency in it, but that'll be starting in six days time. So you've got more time to save up currency for the runner event if you decide to go down that route. But please bear all of that in mind as you are progressing through. So those are the main things to remember when you are picking which path you want to go down. This is also all listed on the Deet List website as well, so you can see all the dragons here and all of their costs. I actually quite like their layout here for showing you the costs on Deet List. Um, it just it looked kind of visually appealing. Maybe you disagree, but I would say that if you really want to finish off that autumn collection the Fall from Grace or as much as you possibly can, of course, you're going to be prioritizing the, um, the what's it called? The autumn leaves in that sense. So bear all of that in mind and pick your path wisely. But, you know, in the meantime, while we wait for those other events to come up and as we keep collecting our currency, don't forget that you also can get currency in the form of these full quests. So you should be logging in every six to eight hours to pick up the currency and potentially some leaves from here. We also have ads and ads can give a variable amount of currency. So you might end up with enough for the pass that you want. You might not. But the best thing to do generally with maze events, unless you're going for a time limited path, is just to save up all of your currency and then spend it when you are definitely sure about what you can afford. But that's the new maze event anyway. Of course, we've still got Wizard Hollow ongoing. I almost picked up some of the occult badges today, but I was one off. I got some gem drops and some perk drops, so I just quit out because, you know, screw messing with that. Uh, the other thing I didn't really mention is that in the arena currently, we do still have drops of Broken Halos, Angel Feathers, and of course the Holy Wings for the collection. So you should realistically be doing as many of your arena battles as you possibly can. And in the meantime, any of us that have been working on High Nakria, I imagine that you are probably making your way through the stages as we speak. And I mean, where is my Nakria right now? I don't remember where I put her. There she is. Uh, but she's currently level 58. I'm going to be collecting some food from the Alliance chest. We might end up going down the monstrous path if we get too desperate. But should be easy, easy peasy E4 into E5 slightly afterwards because I didn't have enough heroic orbs to immediately empower her. But I'm not going to uh, panic too much if we miss the 100 jokers from the quest, mainly just because of the food requirement. We will be very, very close to getting E5 anyway because of all of the extra orbs that we're getting from the quest. So your mother over here, wonderful lady she is, is going to be E5 shortly with her wonderful skin on. So um, there is that that we've all been working on, of course. So I think for now, that is most of the new stuff that we've been working on. One thing that I will mention is that I know that Black Friday so far has not been too interesting, but we may end up getting some cooler offers coming up shortly, mainly some gem deals and things coming up. So be on the lookout for those. I know that currently they've just all been like pay only deals, but like that could change come the next few days. But then we do also have Arcana Tower quests ongoing right now. So if you have Arcana Tower, of course, you can do some quests for him as well. But uh, we don't have him and we didn't have the other Arcana. So we're just going to ignore those for now. I do love doing quests. Uh, we will be able to finish off some more of Duo Destructs quests shortly, but I don't have the levels for him yet. I'll feed him up after we do the Nakria ones. The Nakria ones are slightly more important than the Duo Destruct, but 
Speaking of Duo Destruct, the other thing that I wanted to mention regarding the event items is if you are going down the Duo Fossil path, of course you can potentially pick up some legendary Joker orbs from his path up to 100, minimum 25, which isn't too bad. And of course you're gonna pick up a perk. I don't know why it's only 20 orbs of him. It's not very much like, why even bother with 20 orbs at this point? You might as well just give like 50 or 100, but then the 55, I don't think it's possible unless you've cleared out 100% of the duo fossils from every single event. And it's pretty much the pay to win one, but oh, 500 orbs for him would have been wonderful. I don't know why he's called Roxy. Maybe he's a he male, she male, I don't know, uh, a male lady. I don't know. It's up to him. Uh, duo Destruct can do as he likes, or she. I guess it's not specified in the description, therefore I will not be too pedantic over it. But. Regardless, I do plan on leveling them up and finishing off some of the quests with him. But I believe that that is most of the new event stuff that you need to be aware of at the moment. Yes, my gems look like they've taken a big hit. Reason for that is because we did skip all of the um, empowering for Anacrea, mainly so that we could get these quests done and get some additional stuff. So we will be able to get at least 180 plus 60. So we're going to be getting tons of gems back, which is why it's not so bad gemming these heroic quests if you've got the food to level her up, because then you know, you're going to get all the food back anyway. So I am not too worried about uh, spending spending some gems on empowering her. It's basically just free empowerment, instant free empowerment, and you get all the resources back. So, well, pretty much anyway. But anyway, that is everything that I wanted to go through for now. I've heard that some people potentially want to see some more smashes or passes with the most recent dragons. Maybe, maybe in... A few days time that will happen but for now i'm gonna keep saving up my currency and then potentially spending it on this food path but i've not decided yet we'll see we'll see what we decide but mr monstrous we may be coming for you soon why are you getting so tangled what silly goober